one good thing about living in LA is that you can literally drive to the beach whenever you want. I mean, take a look at this view. Holy crap. What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I moved to LA. I've been here for about a year now. So yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. So a little backstory. I grew up in Wisconsin. I went to college at UW-Milwaukee and like most college students, I didn't really know what I wanted to do in life. I ended up changing my major multiple times, which led me to studying abroad in South Korea for a year, which was cool. Finally, I decided to get my degree in film and graduated just this past May 2019. So after I graduated, I still didn't really have a clear direction of where I wanted to go. After some thought, I ended up packing two large suitcases and a carry-on bag and I moved across the country. Especially since I knew I wanted to pursue a career in the media and entertainment industry, I knew Los Angeles would be the place to be. Not gonna lie, I did have my doubts if this was the right decision for me. I guess that ultimately depended on if I was able to get a job or not, because I would still need to be able to financially support myself if I was gonna make such a big move. So a lot of people told me that I should you know, take the safe route and save up money for a year before I decide to make a big decision like that. But obviously that wasn't really me. I, I like a challenge and let me tell you, this past year definitely has been a challenge. When I first got to LA, everything was foreign. I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know what the people were gonna be like. I didn't know what the city is gonna be like. But luckily I got accepted to a summer internship just before I made the decision. That gave me a little peace of mind because I knew I had a set internship and a place to be. I kind of treated it as my foot in the door to kind of feel out the lay of the lands. Did I say that right? Lay of the lands? Anyway, yeah, treated it as my foot in the door to kind of see what working in LA was like and meeting new people and ultimately if I liked it or not. LA summer was a lot different than summer in Wisconsin. So you know heat rises, right? The place I was staying at was on the top floor. It actually didn't have AC. I remember I spent my off days just visiting different coffee shops because um, I just didn't want to be home. Also, I didn't have a car for the summer, so commuting back and forth in that hot weather, yeah, it was brutal. <laughs> so after my summer internship, my friends actually came and visited. Spent a week with them, you know, it was a good way to see familiar faces and kind of take a breather on LA life. It's a video. You don't even have the background. Walmart, this is what we need. <laughs> But after my friends left, I kind of got into post-grad depression again because I was back facing this journey alone. I hear a lot of stereotypes of people moving to Los Angeles and quote unquote, if they don't make it, they end up moving back to their hometowns, which was kind of scary for me. I knew I wanted to find my place here where I fit in and I wanted to make this a more permanent move, but I didn't really have anything lined up in terms of work after my summer internship. So I did that thing where I massively applied to jobs. I knew I still needed to find a place to stay. I still needed to make some kind of income if I was gonna stay here an entire year. I tried to find jobs that involved media because that's what I came here to do. I started searching different creative groups, volunteering at events, and one thing I learned about my summer internship, especially with professional development, is the power of networking, which got me involved in making a LinkedIn account. Yes, folks, you heard it, LinkedIn. It's actually how I got accepted to a video production internship for a magazine. It's actually a pretty cool gig. I got to help shoot and edit different video series. Kind of the unique thing about it is that... Uh, cool. Thanks, guys. I got to create and design marketing assets for the magazine itself. A cool thing about the magazine is that they highlight Asian Americans in entertainment. I got to attend my first award show back in December. And this award show caters towards Asians in film and TV. A lot of people that were there are actually people that I've looked up to growing up as a kid and just seeing them and being surrounded by such inspiring people. And plus being able to combine two of my passions, which one, creating content, and two, my passion towards the Asian American community. Like, wow, it, it, was, it was just all around a great experience. Something I've learned just having my foot in the door here in the industry, it's one thing to work in the industry, but it's another to actually creating those meaningful connections and bonds with the people you meet through it. 
I remember after the holidays, I kind of got into a slump again. Again, this was just an internship. I didn't have anything lined up. As I was applying to things, I was debating if I wanted to do another internship or try to get a full-time job. So what I did was I kept on grinding, I kept on looking for work, which is how I ended up lining up another internship. So this internship actually came to a surprise. My internship that I ended up getting was through Wong Fu Productions. And I'm sure what some of you guys know what Wong Fu is, especially if you're interested in Asian American content. Basically, it's a production company that's been around for years. So let's rewind. Back in February, I was in Indiana for a weekend for an external event through my school. And Wong Fu happened to be doing their screening for their Yappy tour at that same university that same weekend. I was just really excited because I've looked up to Wong Fu and been watching their stuff since I was in middle school. My middle school self was screaming. At the end of the screening, a lot of people were in line to you know, take pictures with them, but for me, since I was in my senior year and really looking for work, I thought, oh wow, maybe working for Wang Fu might be a cool thing. So I ended up shooting my professional shot. I stood in line and instead of doing what everyone else is doing, I was there to give them my resume. <laughs> Which they, they took it and they were really nice about it, um, but the thing is, I remember them telling me that it would be better if I was an LA local. But at the time, I was living in Wisconsin, so just, I don't think it would have worked out. But that's okay, because I told myself, I'm gonna put myself out there and let's see where it goes. Also, we gotta take a picture and do uh, the Asian squat with Wes, so that was cool. Anyway, bringing it back to the present, I ended up meeting this guy probably gonna put a picture right here. Some of you guys might know Benson, he's part of the Wong Fu team. I actually met him on a set that I was PAing for. It's actually a big coincidence because our gaffer canceled last minute and we were really looking for a replacement and Benson actually filled in the spot. I was actually in contact with him because um, Wong Fu was one of the internships that I applied to back earlier in the summer. He recognized my name and he told me that they were actually offering a spring internship. So I told him, wow, that would be cool. He was actually a really nice guy. He gave me a lot of pointers and tips on different equipment and safety procedures. So to this day, I'm really appreciative for that day. Um, so if you're watching this, Benson, again, thank you. So during my internship with Wong Fu, I soon realized that I had a lot of things I still needed to learn. I didn't really have much knowledge of being on a set. Because back in the Midwest, I barely had any set experience or experience in general of just being on a professional film set. Everything I've learned um, in this industry happened when I moved here to LA. Just being on set was kind of intimidating because I was the only intern at the time. Usually I think they have a couple others. You know, like if there's other interns, you can kind of experience the, the journey or internship together. But me, I felt a little pressure because I was kind of wearing multiple hats and just being among these guys, I kind of felt the pressure. One thing I did like about Wang Fu is that it did give me that set experience that I was looking for. So I'm really grateful for that. And also, it was really cool to see their office and the locations that they actually filmed their short films. Aside from my internships, I did try to stay involved more within the industry. I volunteered at a lot of different events on the weekends, at nights. I did a couple side hustles just to make ends meet. And I did quite a hefty amount of sightseeing. So anyway, the point of this video, again, isn't about me bragging about what I've done just this past year, but more of a reflection on all the things that I've worked for this past year. I spent a lot of my days just on that grind, working literally every day and on the weekends and trying to be involved. I focused a lot on my work life and just career aspirations, which comes to where we're at now. You know, it's not easy moving to a new city, you know? A year ago today, before I made the move, I told myself that if I don't like it, I can always move back, you know? It was as simple as that. But I actually signed a lease to a new apartment that I'm moving into 
Kind of excited because it's gonna be the first time that I'm living in a studio in my own space. Honestly, I don't know where round two of LA is gonna end up. I do know that I do want to focus on different aspects of my personal life, such as the mental health, fitness, and documenting my life more because one thing I regret this year is that I didn't document as much as I told myself I was going to do. So I guess which is why I'm making this video right now. Anyway, not sure how I want to end this video. If you're new to my channel, um, it would be cool if you follow along because I am going to try to stick to my word and see how I navigate this journey we call life. Yeah. Wow, year two in LA.